Well, Marin Ireland has made a name for herself as one of theater's go-to leading ladies. And now she's bringing the drama in the new horror film, The Dark and the Wicked. Take a look. here with me now. Hello, how are you? Hi, I am okay. I am okay in these scary times. I know, scary times. And if anybody needed a distraction, <laughs> this movie is it. Let me <laughs> ask you first, but I know acting um, in a horror film or, or, or television series or, or even on stage um, is, is different from watching it. Are you a horror fan? You know, I am such, I have such a delicate constitution <laughs> for that kind of stuff that there's only been a few things in my life, scary movies that I've actually been able to watch. You know, like I, I've like been able to sit through the classics, you know, I can watch like The Shining, Carrie, Jaws, you know, things like that. I can appreciate it, but I don't usually enjoy them in the same way. So I didn't even think I'd ever really do something like this because I thought like I'm not really gonna get it I'm not gonna be drawn to it you know yeah. this script happened to be a beautiful script just on its own the story yeah. really moved me this is the kind of horror film that to me settles in your spirit and really makes mm. you think beyond this movie right um, That's really nice. Yeah. I mean, I, I will tell you too that like especially in terms of what we were talking about at the beginning of this about these these times and what these times sort of feel like and what they instill in us like I you know for the last number of years I've really been able to only watch like comfort television and yeah. stuff <laughs> um but Brian Bertino you know we talked a lot about the genre and what it means to him you know when we were sort of working on the movie and just talking about his other work and I mean, I was really upfront with him. I was like, I don't know that I'll be able to watch this. I don't watch myself anyway. So that already makes it a horror movie if I'm just like in it for myself. I'm like, I can't do it. But we talked a lot about what it, the genre means to him. And for him, it really is about, okay, what's the scariest thing you can imagine? Now go there and confront it. That felt really, really profound to me in, in a really genuine way and gave me a whole other respect for sort of this particular genre and what it can do for people. Have you seen The it? Dark and the Wicked? <laughs> oh! <laughs> I truly, it's hard for me to watch any things I've ever been in. I What's hard though is because I, I really, really loved the cinematographer, Tristan Nighy. He, I, he, what, the, 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 what he was doing, and I could see parts of it. So what I did watch, I did watch the, I'm not, I'm not a total, not a complete layer, but I did watch the first like 15 minutes. I, I wanted to see some of what it, at least what it looked like to kind of, you know, appreciate everybody's work. I want to talk about so much about the cinematography, which is breathtaking, but I do want you to set up this story for us. You play the yeah. lead. Yeah. Um, and you and your brother go back to your family farm. Kind of tell us what this is all yeah. about. Yeah, our father is dying and our mother basically, I mean, she says she told us not to come, but when we get there, she seems convinced that there's some evil in this house. She's convinced that something bad is happening. You feel like they're, they, that this family abandoned each other a long time before this movie starts. You feel that, I think. And that feels, that's very important to the story, that this feeling that everybody had sort of severed their ties for reasons that aren't explained, but you can sort of imagine a lot of options. Well, fans can also see you in the Umbrella Academy. What was that like? I had just the dreamiest time on that show. Me and Ellen Page had, it was, it was like, we also were like shooting like a little independent movie together in the middle of an yeah, action movie. Yeah, you all's chemistry. Everyone's talking about you all's chemistry. Had uh, you worked together before? No, it was totally just magic. Let's talk about the stage for a minute. Now you're part of this artist collective called the Commissary. What is that yeah. and what are you all doing? Oh my gosh, I'm so happy you asked about that. You know, we started during this pandemic meeting once a week, just a bunch of actors and writers and directors 
to find a way to be in community during this time and not not do something that was only about performance. It feels like a new form because it's like there's like this amazing like credit sequence with this incredible video editor. It's like it's just like cool. It's not like Zoom theater, but it's not really TV. But they're like 20 minute episodes, and you watch like Nina Simone and like Lorraine Hansberry, and like it's just like. I, I'm just so, it's a beautiful thing. I'm, I'm, I mean, I, I was just happy to get to be a part of like bringing it into the world and yeah. it's pretty special. Well, I want to let everybody know that The Dark and the Wicked will be available on DVD and Blu-ray on December 15th. Marin, thank you so much. Thank you. It's so wonderful talking to you.